Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. I do. I do. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. But I'd, I'd like my mother to see it before I decide. You understand? Oh, of course. Would you like to take it out on approval? Oh, yes, may I? Well, we wouldn't have it any other way. After all, how many times in your life are you going to buy a wedding dress? <laughs> that she'll be half as happy as I was in this dress. Your pin. I never took it off. Needs a little alteration. Don't laugh. I was practically her size in those days. <laughs> now, the ribbons are ordered in pink and white. Right. Which just leaves printed napkins and the bride and groom for the top of the cake. Uh-oh. What is it? I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, you forgot to signal when you reverse lanes. <laughs> well, Mom, this is important. We've only got ten days left. I know. And we're inexperienced. This is our first wedding. Uh -huh. The mint wafers. That's it, in pink and white. You know something? You two are pretty terrific. Why, Mom? Well, I don't know, being so thrilled about Betty Jo's wedding. After all, she is the youngest. You two are older. She's getting married first, and yet... Look, I'm your mother. I don't have to explain why I think you're terrific. <laughs> but you are. Mom, I found it. I found it. You found what, dear? My wedding dress. Oh? It's just what I've been looking for. Steve had to fly into Riverdale on business. And while we were there, I checked out all the stores. I found this at Emerson's, and they let me take it home on approval. I know you'll love it. I just know you will. Well, if it's what you want, dear, I'm sure I will. Where are you going? What's that? Oh, uh, th this is uh, uh, some curtain material I found. I, I was going to take it to Miss Walker and have her make them because we're so busy and everything. Oh, well, I wanted you to see this right away. Oh, is that going to wait, Ken? Oh, sure, dear. It's going to wait. Ready down there? Yes, we're ready. Okay. Dum, dum, da dum. Dum, dum, da dum. Betty Jo, you look beautiful. What do you think, Ma? It's lovely, truly lovely. It's so beautiful, I could cry. Me too. Well, you better not. You've only got it on approval. <laughs> not anymore. Oh, it's mine, isn't it, Ma? Of course, dear. It's yours. <laughs> Faster service from a dog sled. <laughs> well, you did it. You beat your old record for a slow for 16 minutes. How come you're in such an all hard hurry? Because for two weeks I've been waiting for this little beauty to come to the post office. Mind telling me what's in it? No, I don't mind. But I'm more proud of this than anything I ever done in my life. It's a wedding dress for Betty Jo. A wedding dress? <laughs> yes, sir. I can hardly wait to see their faces when they see it. <laughs> Joe, it's your wedding dress. Is she a beaut? Yes, she is a beaut, all right. That sounds far as my idea. It's a certain touch. 
<laughs> it sure does. And I went through six catalogs before I found just what I wanted. We're in good health and with my blessing. Oh, Uncle Joe, you shouldn't have done it. Don't worry, you pretty little head. That hunting rifle I was saving up for can wait another season. I made up my mind there was no sacrifice too great for one of my favorite nieces on the biggest day of her life. Uncle Joe, this is a wonderful gesture on your part, but I think you should know. Oh, uh, uh, not now, Mom. Yeah, Kate, hold that mushy stuff. There'll be enough of that at the wedding. Glad you liked it, young. We're gonna have to tell him sometime. Oh, Mom, I'd rather die than hurt Uncle Joe's feelings. Well, you can't wear that thing in the wedding. There hasn't been a gown like that since Mom married Pa Kettle. <laughs> what can I do? Well, uh, you and Steve could run off, elope to Niagara Falls. <laughs> Say, that's an idea. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to beat your mother out of a wedding. Oh, can't you think of anything? Wait a minute, I forgot. The champ is arriving this afternoon. Huh? Cousin May. Yeah. When it comes to men, she's pretty good with the soft soap. Pretty good, honey. She's the worldwide distributor. 